Welcome back again. This is the last segment of the show, Me Zikaranda. And of course, next week we'll be back again. And just before we say goodbye to you guys, I just want to introduce the fabulous musician we had tonight. They've been playing some absolutely fantastic music, especially the guy on tabla, ladies and gentlemen. Let's welcome the one and only Amir Kohar. Amir Kohar, thank you very much. He's he come to our show for the very, very first time. And I want to welcome you with my arm open. And of course, on Octopod, he's here with us every week. You know him very well, the one and only Faisal. Faisal, thank you very much for coming to Music and Adda. On guitar, as usual, the team is back again, the one and only Joy Borowa. Joy Borowa, thank you so much for coming to Music and Adda. <coughs> Behind me, well, he's with us. Sometimes he's with us, sometimes he's on holiday, sometimes you can't find him. No, I'm actually joking. <laughs> he's very creative, very talented. He's been playing keyboard for a very, very long time. And of course, we're always delighted to have him here. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles F. Jones. Charles very F. Nice. Jones, thank you for coming to Music Canada. And tonight, for the very last time, we're in conversation with your favorite singer who made it all the way here to our studio, the one and only Asif Raza. Asif Raza, this is the last segment of tonight's show. But last and never the least. Last, <laughs> la <laughs> last and never the least. But yeah. Your genre of music, when you started, your subject was yeah. Ghazal. Yes, before I start my answer, I would like to thank personally Mr. Charles, Mr. Joe, Mr. Faisal, Mr. Amir. They have given me a wonderful support. Thank you very much, guys. Uh, but my basic subject is Ghazal. And uh, Ghazal listeners are not in uncountable number in this world because the ghazal is the basic uh, uh, based on uh, classical classical music and you know yeah. not music only even poetry okay it's, uh, though it's in urdu mm -hmm. but for people who understand urdu even it is difficult for them to understand because urdu is easy but not easy either way when you talk about the literate urdu it's not that easy so uh, but i love singing that's why i've done my masters in karachi university in Urdu literature to understand what am I singing? What is the meaning of this uh, Sher? What is the meaning of this Misra? So uh, when I am singing or selecting Ghazal, classical by Ghalib, Mir, Taqi, Mir, Daag, so I do understand what is actually the meaning of that Sher. So I enjoyed myself, but that thing I cannot transfer to my audience, but to be, to stay in the scene, I start uh, singing, uh, different genre of singing. So, so you're saying to transfer this gazelle to your audience, to people who love your song, who listen to you, it's, it's difficult? For the audience to understand. For them to understand or, yeah. or uh, that, that's the part for yeah, them to Yeah, understand. because they, they do understand, but very light uh, poetry, uh -huh. you know. So, but gazelle is a very deep subject. So, because they love you so much, you want to give them something back in return. You've changed the style of your music. You've got to true, different. True, true, true. To entertain my audience. Just for them, you've, you've changed <laughs> yourself totally. No, I don't. I, I, I will not say that I've changed myself. I'm mm. still working on it uh -huh. and try to make more easier for my audience. To understand. To understand. So that they can communicate to you true. better. That's anyway, right. Let's, I hope the love that they've shown you the way they love you, the way they listen to your music, they will do it for many, many years to come. Inshallah. And you will continue to sing for us for many, many, many years to come. Inshallah. Inshallah. Let's hear another song. Right. This is a very popular song. Again, it's composed by Suhail Rana Sahib. And uh, Vidya Sen Sahib is the singer for this song. Very old, but very romantic song. Uh, very quickly, when you're talking about Mehdi Hassan, uh, you had very close connection or I very had. strong connection, in fact. I, I with had, Messi, I had, I, because I used to learn from S.B. John Saab. S.B. John is a very good singer. Mm -hmm. I used to learn singing from him and Mehdi Hassan Saab when I was in Pakistan. Then I moved to London. I started learning from Jagjit Singh Ji here in London from 1990. So I'm very lucky that I met lots of big, 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 big people 
very talented people that very you talented. had the chance yeah. to work with. Yeah. Had strong connection. Yeah. Okay, let's let's yeah. continue this. Definitely had a good time. What are the new project that you want to work on? Uh, actually, I'm working with a company, a local company, uh. and uh, to release one my single soon. And uh, I'm hoping by the Christmas time, I will release my uh, single record. Yeah. Uh, you want to release it here? Or yeah, release yeah, it yeah. For it's a, it's a British company who is making my record. 
And how different is it to work? Obviously, you, you've released your album in Pakistan and you've worked with the Pakistani. Uh, there over there, you work with a lot of great singers. Now that you're working with totally different guys, uh, how different is it to work? No, it's all the same. Music is one language all around the world. So it's, it's very much similar. Only the difference is, but before we used to work with hundreds of musicians sitting in the big hall in the studios. They are playing violin, rhythm, keyboard and everything, guitar, bass guitar. But nowadays, uh, uh, because of the advantage, technology. Because of the... <laughs> uh, so one or two people are enough to make a beautiful song uh, 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 by using sequences. Is this a better thing or...? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I prefer working with lots of musicians because I believe in energy like this four people are helping me and I'm sure the energy which I'm receiving from this my friends here playing with me that is very valuable for so me. So you're saying you don't get the real energy or real feeling when, yeah. when you work? Because if if, if hundreds hundred of musicians are playing together mm -hmm. the sound is totally different yeah. and it's natural no, it's not coming from the sequencer. <laughs> yeah, so, I prefer this thing. <laughs> right. Anyway, do you have any message for our viewers? Well, uh, uh, love music, love each other, look out for each other. You all are very important. Give importance to yourself and be happy. Be happy and make sure you guys come to the Boishiki Mela on Sunday, this Sunday, 31st of July 2016, London Weaversfield. For the third time, NTV, your favorite channel, the number one Asian channel, is going to showcase it for you. Don't miss it. NTV will bring this Mela to your house on your screen. Until then, Shabai Bhalo Thakon, Shusha Thakon, Khuda Hafiz, and bye bye. Don't
बदन की थाली को लघु जिगर का दूंगा बस लबों की लाली को सजाऊंगा लुट कर भी तेरे बदन की डाली को लघु जिगर का दूंगा बस लबों की लाली को चुरा लिया है तुमने जो दिल को नजर नहीं चुराना सना हर बदल के मेरी तुम जिंदगानी 